We're going to ass assign a teacher to the pass group uh, so that they can get past the web filter and access YouTube. First thing we've got to do is locate the teacher's IP address. The second thing is assign it a static lease. And then the third thing is to actually put that IP address in the pass list, the exception list. All right, so let's get started with that. Uh, easiest thing to do is locate the teacher's IP address by using remote desktop. And we'll see here it's 192.168.2.69. Uh, then I'm just going to switch over to uh, clear OS. I'm going to go to where it says network DHCP server. And it was 2.69 if I remember correctly. I'm going to look for it and I'm going to do 2.69 over here in the search feature. So there's the teacher's IP address. So that's the MAC address for that computer. We should be able to click on edit and it'll load for a second. And then we're going to change that from a dynamic lease to a static lease. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here to where it says uh, gateway content filter. When we get to content filter, we're going to click on exception IPs. We're going to click add and we're going to add that IP address that we copied from earlier. Push the add button. And now that teacher has bypassed the filter. We can look at all the entries here and see who is on it. And there's our 2.69 we just added. A word of caution, teachers who are on the exception list do not get filtered at all. So if they're going to show a thing up on the screen in the classroom, they need to verify it before they show it up to the students.